Hi, I'm Dr. Dodd Van. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon specializing in gynecomastia surgery here in Beverly Hills. And today I want to do a case study on a gynecomastia patient. So I thought it'd be interesting to go through a patient that I'd done surgery on a few months ago and show you what I saw when he first came in for a consultation, how I analyzed his chest. That may be able to better help you at home figure out how to analyze your own chest before seeing someone like me. Um, and then if you want to see this patient's video of his surgery, be sure to check the link in the description below. But I'm going to take you through how I analyzed his chest when he came in and then show you his long-term results when he came back in for six months after. So this patient came to me and he had a case of steroid-induced gynecomastia. And when I first saw him, I, I, I noticed a few things right off the bat. Number one, the significant amount of tissue that he had. He's a technically a grade three gynecomastia. And just to refresh your memory, grade three means that the breast tissue is larger than the size of the areola and the skin is starting to kind of fold a little bit in the bottom half of the, of the chest. And the other thing I want you to guys to notice is the size of his areolas. These areolas are really big. And the reason why it's like that is because that breast tissue is stretching out the areola. And keep this in mind for when I show you the after pictures and how much his areola shrank down. Um, the other thing to notice on this before picture here is the shape of this chest. This kind of soft U shape is not the right shape for the pec. The pec should be more of a hockey stick like that all of this kind of curving down and out is all the breast tissue that's stretching out the skin. So from the front view, those are the things I initially saw was large areola, large amount of tissue, and then this kind of soft bottom heavy feel to his chest. And if you go to this oblique view here, and I had him turn to the side, it really becomes really obvious what the severity of his gynecomastia is. The first thing I look at is the angle that the breast makes with the belly, and that's this angle here, okay? This angle, if it's 90 degrees or less, there is a little chance that the skin doesn't tighten up. He's right at 90 degrees, so I, I had a good idea that his skin was gonna tighten up okay, but if that angle is less than that, meaning the, the breast is actually hanging down, I gotta think of different surgeries to do, and that also means he's probably not a grade three, more like a grade four. The other thing I wanted to mention here on this oblique view is, you know, the typical chest is fuller up the top and then flatter as you go down like this. In guys with gyno, it continues to go out like this and you get that coning and that's what makes it feminine. And you can see the nipple should never be the thing that sticks out so far. His chest should be kind of like this shape after surgery, like that. And that would be a great chest for him. And all of this extra stuff, shouldn't be there. And that's the gland that was enlarged when he did the steroids. And then you can see again on the side view how much his nipple and areola stick out. It actually goes past the belly. And you can see if I draw this line, his nipple sticks past his belly. It shouldn't be that way. And again, the chest itself shouldn't cone out like that. It should be something like this and then kind of come back down like that with the nipple being here. So the goal of the surgery was to get this bottom heaviness out so his skin can snap back and give him a more masculine chest. So now I want to show you guys what he looked like at six months after surgery. So I have a series of those, these photos lined up. And so let me start off with the front view because this will point to a lot of things I was mentioning in my analysis. And so you could automatically see here in the front view on the before, remember I mentioned his areolas being really large. Now look at them. They're smaller, they're a little darker. That's because they're not being inflated. And I always say, think of a balloon that you take and you color a balloon with a Sharpie and you blow that balloon up. That black Sharpie is gonna look lighter. You deflate it, it's gonna look darker. That's what happens with the areola. So you can see his areola is smaller, appropriate for his smaller chest now, and it's a little bit darker. The other thing I wanna mention on this front view is this. Remember I was saying that the, the chest here before has this kind of, soft U curve to the bottom and it's not very masculine. Well, look at the after here. That pec line is now like this. That's exactly what I wanted. And that's because I took out all that tissue to allow that skin to come back in. And so you can see now a much better chest contour. You actually couldn't even see this part of his chest. What's really interesting is this. If you look at this tattoo here that he has, you see that whole scroll here, right? And you see this part of the American flag here. And guess what guys, 
let me show you the before. You couldn't even see it. It was hidden under his skin, which is tightened up now. So that is proof in the pudding that when you take this tissue out and you do it the right way, he's gonna get fantastic results. And he's actually getting to see more of his tattoo than you could before. So that's actually, actually a little fun uh, benefit to this. But great contour from the front. Let's move on to the side, to the oblique view here. Remember when I said with the oblique, I look at this angle and this, his angle is about 90 degrees on the before. Well, look at the after now. That angle now is about 120 degrees, 130 degrees. Why? Because that skin has now gone back up. That tissue's not weighing it down, so it was able to tighten up. And so the other thing I want to show you is this. On the before, you see how bottom heavy this is, and it just looks like a feminine breast, and it's the, the nipples pointing down and coning out. And then on the after, it's just kind of following the contour of his pec, right? It's not doing this thing. So that's really the essence of gynecomastia surgery, to make the chest look more masculine, addition through subtraction. And so let me wrap this up by showing you the side view. Again, the thing I mentioned here was that initially in the before, his nipple was past his belly mark, right? Look at the after, six months out it gets deprojected in, right? So now his nipple is here. It used to be way out here. So I didn't do anything to the areolas. I didn't move them. I didn't shit change their position. Just by removing that tissue very meticulously, I was able to then get everything to set back and deproject into a more natural position. So now all you see is a shape of his chest. And interestingly enough, you'll see this here. You don't even see any skin, it's just his chest and then the nipple, whereas on the after here, you actually can see a little bit of skin right there between his, his areola here and this, this border of his pec. That means that the nipple's projected back in to give him that more masculine uh, chest shape. And so these are the things that I wanna see in these cases. And these grade three cases can be very challenging sometimes if you don't do the right procedure and go somewhere, somewhere to a surgeon that's experienced, you can get a lot of skin issues that, that may need secondary surgeries to fix, but it was a matter of doing the right diagnosis, the right analysis, the right surgical plan, and then having the patient do their part following instructions to get such a great result. This guy's thrilled. It's made a big difference in his confidence, and I'm just really happy to have been a really small part of that. So this hopefully was educational for you guys. I wanted to do this case study because two reasons. One, so you can get into my mind and how I analyze these patients when they come in and what I'm looking at to grade their surgeries and come up with a surgical plan, but also to show you guys a long-term result, right? A lot of videos out there just show the people on the table with their arms out, laying on their back. You can't really get a sense of how they're gonna look standing up, let alone how they're gonna look six months out when they're back to their regular lives. And so hopefully that was helpful for you guys. And listen, I do this for you to be educational and give you information to let you know that you're not alone with this. And so if you enjoy the content that I'm putting out there, be sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell to get newest updates when my next video comes out. And I'm here for you. Until next time, guys.